Hello folks and welcome. Pop OS 2204 LTS long-term support. Today I'm going to be talking about several tools that you can um, utilize. Some of them are already installed and some of them you can install. Some of them are found in Pop Shop and some you will have to install through Terminal. I'm going to give you both sides of the house today. So these tools are used for system information and system process monitoring. Uh, one example for system information is if you're looking for new RAM for your computer. Instead of opening up the case, you can go find that information, what kind of RAM your machine needs, and uh, do that before you open the box. All right, folks. With that said, I'm going to talk about these in uh, not uh, any particular order, but I'm going to talk about standard system information. I'll talk about the system monitor. You can install uh, hard info, Stacer, HTOP, ATOP, BASHTOP, Glasses, and use a couple of terminal commands like INXI and some of the derivatives of the LS commands. I'm going to talk about all of that today. If you don't feel comfortable installing um, terminal-centric tools, I'll show also that procedure toward the end of the video also. So I'll say welcome, folks. My video will be more than two minutes. And uh, my video is being filmed today in 1920 by 1080. My videos always contain chapters and timelines on my new channel. And I do encourage that you subscribe if you're not a subscriber, because I have lots of material for you. So this command here is called NeoFetch, if you're curious. And I am about to close this window using Alt F4 instead of that little X in the corner. So I'll go back and forth by using those different commands to close stuff. Alt F4 it is. So let's walk on over to actually settings and you can do that from here also this is the most basic command you can do for getting system information is click about i'll make this larger or you can do it the old-fashioned way in either case there's some basic information about your system okay alt f4 to close so you can also open up some other tools in here um, i will also talk about the system monitoring tools also system monitor processes, resources, I'll make this larger, resources, file systems. And by the way, these are configurable too. All right, so let me make this smaller and talk about the hamburger menu for a second. So this is the uh, system monitor tool. And it's also highly configurable. And uh, for you folks that uh, are kind of concerned about making changes to your system, you can always make screenshots. Three different tabs of making those kind of changes. So this again is your system monitoring tool. You should already have that installed. So there's two things. Now installing stuff through Pop Shop, one of the things you can install is hard info. And once it's installed, you can either type in the word H-A-R-D and it comes up with system profiler. Or you can put in S-Y-S and it still comes up with system profiler. I'll show you why in a second. So I'm going to open that up and make this larger or you can do it the old-fashioned way. So you have a summary and uh, more importantly this is made by hard info so you can use that keyword in Pop Shop to find this application or program and install it. And it's got a litany of tools including your benchmark tools. Again one more time hard info is who makes that. I'm going to use Alt F4 to close and then I'm going to talk about another tool that you can install through Pop shop called Stacer. So Stacer is kind of a combo tool and uh, make this a little bit larger if you like. And uh, so this is the general first tab and then you have others. And be careful with the stuff you turn off and on because you can turn on and off stuff in here. Here's some processes and uh, more importantly it's got lots of tabs and this is a this hard to see but there's a scroll bar in here. More stuff, in other words. Okay, lots of little bells and whistles on this one, too. Now, when I close this, it gives me an option to quit or continue. When I hit continue, what it's going to do is it's going to leave that tool up here on my taskbar. And then I can launch it again rather quickly. Okay, so if I hit quit, it's going to terminate this, in other words. So I'm just going to hit continue and let you see all the options. 
Now I'm going to hit quit and it's going to terminate the tool. All right, there's another one too that you can install that's also terminal centric tool in PopShop. You may already have that installed. It's called HTOP. So you can find it in here. And uh, if you don't have it installed, you can install it through PopShop. And HTOP looks like this. And I will actually launch it. And then I'm going to open up. Uh, or actually, let me just do another tab and I'll put in uh, the other one. The other one, this one here is built into your terminal. You'll have to open up terminal first to run this top. There isn't a distribution I haven't found that doesn't have this installed. So this is a black and white version of your process monitor and this is like the colorized version. This is HTOP by the way and this has more bells and whistles than this one does. Okay, just giving you the examples of the two. I'm going to close that box down. So there's a couple of things that you can actually install through Terminal that are not found in PopShop. So again, I'm going to resize this box and I'll talk about those tools. So you can also run HTOP directly out of Terminal just by doing that. I'm going to hit Q to quit. So there's a lot of things that have the ending top that I have installed. I have obviously top is installed automatically. HTOP can or can. Um, sometimes it's installed on distributions and sometimes not. May I make the fonts slightly bigger just for your viewing pleasure as one would say. So the other one I have installed and I'll show you how to install these things because they're not found in PopShop. You can install them in Terminal though. And if you're not too sure how to install stuff in Terminal, I'll show you that right after I show you these tools. So that's a top and it looks like that. I'm going to hit Q for quit. And then there's another one called bash top. And they all end up with that top. All right, so current size needs to be at least uh, 80. So let's just relaunch this. So I will just do it this way. And uh, then I'll make this larger because it was complaining about the size of the box itself. And maybe this, I'll let it do a screen refresh. All right, so anyways, this is Bash Top. Slightly different monitoring tool that's ran out of terminal. And when you install it, it takes actually about a minute or so to install it because it's pretty heavy as far as the installation is concerned. And it also has some bells and whistles in here. I'm going to hit Q. So that's bash top. There's one more that I have to show you here that you also install out of terminal. It's called Glances. Glances. There we go. It looks like that. And I'll go full screen on that. And then I'll hit Q. All right, so we have top, H top, A top, bash top, and glasses, glances, glances. Now I'm going to punch up the history buffer of my commands. Okay, and I'm going to talk about, and these are just the commands that I've been doing. Uh, well, about 52 of them since I started this video, because I redid this video a couple of times, trying to reduce the time on this video. So I'm going to just enlarge the font slightly. This is for you folks that don't know how to install stuff out of terminal. This is a typical install command. sudo apt install. sudo means super user do space apt space install is the command for installation and uh, then one more space and then the name of the application and program. So atop, glances, and bashtop you can install. I'll show you the inxi command if you don't have that installed, you can also install that. And the same thing goes with NeoFetch. You just need to substitute that last. You, you first put in a sudo apt install, and then you can just put the name of the application, like NeoFetch, for instance. So one more time. So it's top, already built in, htop. I'm not positive if that's installed by default, but you can certainly install that through PopShop. However, ATOP, Glances, and BashTOP will have to be installed in Terminal because I did not find them in the pop shop. All right, so far so good. I'm going to punch up clear. 
Then I'm going to perform this command here. If you're a previous subscriber of mine, I had another channel that I ran for many years that I had 450 videos on. And more importantly, I used to perform that command probably over 200 times. That one right there, INXI. Dash big F X E is a command and there are many, many options with INXI. That one there just strips out personal information. It's one of my favorite uh, commands to use. There are others out there. I'm gonna run it. Kernel information, desktop, distro, basic. And more importantly, when I get down to machine, MOBO, motherboard information made by MicroStar, and my model number is right there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I am going to reduce this slightly. And I'm gonna highlight the model number and right click and copy this and open up a web browser just to let you see you, you can do this on your own. So since I know that's made by MicroStar, I'm definitely going to click on the link that says MicroStar on it. So I'm going to click that one. And this is what that motherboard looks like on this machine. And more importantly, if I'm shopping for RAM, I know it has four ports. I don't know if they're filled, but most of the time you do know how many slots you have open. But it tells me what kind of RAM it is before I open the case up and what my motherboard has on it. Hopefully that was helpful information to you. Alt F4 to close the web browser. Now I'm gonna continue. So there's motherboard information, battery information on my Logitech mouse and wireless keyboard. It even identifies it as model numbers. Central processing unit, our CPU. Graphics card, model number. It even tells me the driver that I'm currently uh, running right here and what screen resolution I'm currently running and the refresh rate, 1920 by 1080 at 120 hertz. Audio, network, Bluetooth, drives, all kinds of stuff. Now I'm gonna punch up clear. All right, so one more time, history. These are your install commands for those applications. Sudo apt install atop glasses and bash top. And then inxi, that command there, system information. And now I'm gonna just give you a couple of more if you're fairly new to um, the terminal command. LS is very common when people start out, which is just list your home folder, you know, like your documents, pictures, and music, that kind of stuff. It also has LS, um, like space A for hidden. Like that history command that I showed you is actually this file right there. Now, you can also use LS like USB, for instance, all one word, to list your USB stuff. Or I'm gonna punch up clear because the screen is kind of busy. LS CPU, central processing unit. So if I needed to know not only the, the, um, the model number, but what the L cache is on that, it tells me that right here. And other information. Punching up clear again, LS, and what am I going to use? How about uh, PCI? LS, the PCI bus. There you go. Lots of information for you. Anyways, too much for some probably. I'm going to type in exit and I'm going to do a recap, folks. So you have stuff from regular system settings. You have also for the system monitor. You can install hard info, Stacer. On a terminal, you can run top for process monitor, HTOP also. You can run HTOP uh, either out of the show application menu or you can run it out of terminal. You can install a top bash top or glances through terminal commands. You can use the INXI command. You can also use the LS with the derivatives of uh, examples that I showed was USB, CPU, and PCI, all one word stuff like that. There are many other commands and there are many other applications out there. Find them in your pop shop, install them through terminal, but more importantly, there's tons of tools available. I just gave you a taste of some of them today, quite a few actually. And on that note, folks, I will say have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.